Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a 25 random facts. Yeah, 25 random facts about me tag. Um, I thought that would be really, really fun to do considering I just reached 100 subscribers a little while ago. Um, yay! I'm so excited for that. Uh, it's been really fun starting to do YouTube and it's really encouraging when people subscribe and want to follow along with my videos. So it's been really fun so far and I kind of just wanted to do this video so that everybody could get to know me a little better and learn a few random facts about me. So let's get started! The first fact about me is that I have a very short attention span. Um, you can ask basically anybody who knows me. I have a really hard time focusing on even watching movies. Like even if it's like a huge action film and you know really supposed to grasp your attention, I have the hardest time paying attention and I don't know if it's because I get so like I overthink it, like I feel like I have I can't miss a single moment of the movie and then I end up thinking about that and then I'm distracted from the movie. I don't know. It's a huge effort for me to watch a movie and pay attention to the whole thing. The second fact is my high school was torn down the summer after I graduated. Um, so not the whole high school, but the main portion of the high school, like a lot of where my classes took place, was completely torn down after I graduated. So we were the last class to have the school as it was from the time that it was built a long, long time ago. The first nuclear bomb ever made or created was created in my town, Los Alamos, New Mexico. I only enjoy watching sappy romantic movies so I have an easier time paying attention to those type of movies than you know action or drama there's a few drama movies I really really like and enjoy um, and it's a lot easier for me to enjoy and watch a movie after I've already seen it before because I think that there's like less pressure of like needing to understand what's going on so I can just kind of like relax so yeah, watching movies is not very relaxing for me. <laughs> my first car was a 1999 lime green bug. <laughs> it was really fun to drive it. I got it the day after my junior prom, I think it was. My parents got it for me and I paid them back of course, but um, it was really fun to drive my bug because before that I was driving my parents old beat up white van <laughs> so anything was better than that. I'm extremely extremely loyal to those people that I love so I'm a very loyal friend, a very loyal family member. When I love somebody I love them with my whole heart and I would do anything for them. I get stressed very easily when I have to spend money. Um, I guess you could call me a tightwad a little bit. <laughs> Not the best, you know, way to describe it, I guess. Like, I just get stressed when I have to spend large sums of money. I love spending money on, you know, my friends, like taking them out to coffee or, you know, spoiling people. But I have a really hard time spending money on myself, I guess you could say. Um, I always feel like I should just save, save, save. And, you know, there could be something down the line that I really need saved up money for, so I definitely have a hard time spending money. My favorite shows, I guess there's two of them, they're tied for first place, is The Bachelor and Bachelorette, so I guess if you consider that two shows, then I actually have three shows. <laughs> and my second show is Dancing with the Stars. I absolutely love both of those, um, they're both on, um, on Monday nights. And I look forward to Mondays just for those two shows. Um, they kind of like take turns. So when The Bachelor's airing, Dancing with the Stars is on a break and vice versa. So I always have something to look forward to. I used to swim competitively um, throughout high school and also when I was little, starting from I think about third grade. Um, so it was kind of like a form of exercise for me, but then it turned into kind of a competitive sport. I wasn't as competitive as some of the swimmers that I swam with, 
but I still swam in swim meets and my favorite stroke was the butterfly. I can understand Spanish because I'm originally from New Mexico and I understand it more or less but I still cannot speak it. My grandmother is fluent in Spanish and my mom is kind of in the same boat as me, probably a little better than me. She can understand Spanish but we don't really speak it because we just speak English, I guess, and my mom probably speaks a little better Spanish than me if she does speak it anymore because of growing up, like, her mom spoke fluent Spanish and she was around a lot more Spanish than I am now. I used to wake up at 5 a.m. Sorry, my camera's falling over. I used to wake up at 5 a.m every single morning when I was growing up to watch Saved by the Bell. My dad would come into my room and wake me up per my request. <laughs> and he would take me, like I would go out to the family room and he would turn on Saved by the Bell and then the show that came on after that was Family Matters with Urkel. <laughs> I loved Urkel. So I used to watch those two shows every single morning growing up and it was super fun. It's kind of crazy that I would wake up that early though. <laughs> I collected tea sets growing up. Um, every Christmas, for as long as I could remember growing up, my mom would buy me a new tea set, and I have a lot of them. I think they're actually at my parents' house in New Mexico, so when we move down there, I definitely want to grab those and take them to my new house, and it would be really cool to get like a china cabinet or something and put all my tea sets in those. Um, but I have a bunch of different cool ones and they're all like really small. They're all really tiny little miniature tea sets and they're so cute. I just love them. And when I was little, me and my mom used to have tea parties using them with our little tiny miniature cups and we'd be like, <laughs> like that. So th those are really some fun memories. 13. I don't think I've been saying the number I'm on, but I'm on number 13. Um, food presentation is really important to me. Not important to me, but it's something I notice. Like whenever I make big salads to share, I always like make it look really pretty. Like I'll put like beets along the outside of the bowl and then I'll put like my carrots next and like so it's like super colorful and pretty. And I really like sushi for that reason too because um, the sushi chefs make it really pretty, like if you get a caterpillar roll, they make it look like a caterpillar, I don't know. So food presentation has always fascinated me, I guess. The only country outside of the United States I've been to is Canada, and I live in Washington and I used to go to college in Bellingham, which is right there on the border of the United States and Canada. And so I've been to Canada a couple times, but that is just about it. I have not left the country other than that. I am a procrastinator. <laughs> um, my mom was actually the one that gave me that fact because I asked her for some help in coming up with my facts. And her first one was like, you are a major procrastinator, <laughs> which I am, she's right. Um, I always put things off to the last minute and not always does it blow up in my face, but most of the time it does. <laughs> so. And I still haven't learned. I'm still a procrastinator, so. Oh, and I guess going along with that, I lose just about everything. Um, I never know where my keys are. I never know where my wallet is. I leave my purse everywhere. I've lost a million jackets, you name it. I'm just really bad at keeping track of things. And Chase is a really good balance for me in that regard because he knows literally where absolutely everything is. I'll be like, oh, where's the remote? Oh, it's right there. Oh, where's my keys? Oh, I put them over there. So, you know, I could probably work a little harder on keeping track of my things, um, but I still always tend to lose things even when I'm trying really hard to keep track of them. So, I guess that's just me. Um, I am meticulous, I think is a good word for it. I'm meticulous with my teeth. I am very clean about my mouth. I make sure that I brush every tooth extremely well, not like one by one or anything crazy like that, but just like making sure that I get any bit of plaque off that I can, um, flossing my teeth, just my, the cleanliness of my mouth is very, is the cleanliness of my mouth, there we go, is very important to me. 
Um, I prefer to eat finger foods. For whatever reason, I have always like to eat with my hands. Um, I'm not like a cave girl who's gonna get like a plate of lasagna and like eat with my hands, but like I love sushi because you can eat it with your hands. I just love like things like french fries you pick up with your fingers. It's always been my thing to eat with my fingers whenever I can. <laughs> Whenever somebody on the table next to me isn't gonna be like, <laughs> the heck? I dated my husband for two years before we got married. Um, we started dating 4th of July of 2014, and then he proposed to me 4th of July of 2000, wait, yeah, 2013, we started dating. 4th of July of 2014, he proposed to me, and then June 28th, so almost exactly two years. June 28th, 2015, we got married. Number 19, I love the smell of tires, like car tires, and gasoline. Um, I have no idea why. Um, anytime I go into a store that sells tires, like Le Schwab or any of those stores, I just am like in heaven. I'm just like, oh, like, I just love the smell of tires and gasoline. Um, gasoline is kind of a eh thing, like I don't like it as much as the smell of tires, but I used to like it more when I was young. So I don't know, that one's kind of worn off, but I still like the smell. I stress clean, if that makes any sense. Like some people stress eat, some people don't eat when they're stressed. I clean when I'm really stressed out, which is funny because I'm usually not super organized, but when I get stressed out or worried or anxious, like my house, like I'm just walking around with a rag, like wiping everything down, putting things away, like organizing. So I'm definitely a stress cleaner. 21, we're almost done. 21, I have two different colored eyes. Um, they're not super noticeable, but one is definitely more green than the other. My eyes are generally blue, but Granted, with like, given what I'm wearing, it's more obvious some days than others that one of my eyes is green and one of them is blue. 22, I play songs on repeat. If I find a song that I like, I will play it until the day's end. Like, I am just one of those people that gets obsessed with songs and it drives my husband absolutely nuts because he's like, how many more times? Do we have to listen to this song? I am sick of it. But I just don't get sick of songs, like especially ones that I like. Like right now, I'm listening to Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. It's on the radio. That's why I love the radio, because they play the good songs like over and over and over and over again. But <laughs> that is a really good song, and I seriously play it every single time I get in the car. Like I put it, get it on my phone, plug it into my car and I'm just listening to it over and over again. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. <laughs> Three more, 23. I have restless leg syndrome. Um, it started a few years ago, but like I just get such weird sensations in my legs. Like sometimes I feel like I just need to move my legs like all the time to get the sensations to go away. My legs cramp, they ache, they like, some days are better than others, but yeah, oh my baby's crying. Ah, uh, two more and then I gotta go get him. I gained over 50% of my original body weight in my pregnancy. That's a lot of weight. <laughs> um, I've lost it all basically to now, but I put on so much weight, especially by the end of my pregnancy, and I think a lot of it was water retention towards the end. I got pregnancy-induced hypertension, so it wasn't quite preeclampsia, but it's where I got really high blood pressure towards the end of my pregnancy, and I think I retained a lot of water. Regardless, I gained like 60 pounds in my pregnancy, so it's crazy. Um, I get bouts of uncontrollable laughter. <laughs> um, I just, when I think something's funny, even if it's stupid, like I just laugh uncontrollably. And one person that always makes me laugh, no matter what, is my mom. And whenever I'm around her and hanging out with her, there's some times where I'm just like giggling all day long, like just laughing. Like I'm just, it's just, I can't control it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. Um, and definitely in the comments below, please leave, um, 
What kind of videos do you prefer that I do? I've been doing a lot of tag videos recently, but I also do vlogs and stuff, so I just want to hear from you guys, like, what kind of videos do you like the most? Do you like vlogs or do you like sit-down videos? Um, so thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.